What is up, everybody? Random Ginger here. Today, what I'm going to be doing is revisiting actually a tutorial that I've done before, but I know there was some missing information. People said that they wanted to know more about some things or that uh, wasn't quite well done enough. So I thought I'd revisit it. And this is a tutorial on all the engines of Feed the Beast, all 12 of them here. Give you a quicker rundown of each of them. Uh, but I'll try and go in depth on each of them and show you exactly what you'll need to know to use each of them. And they're not each very hard, but it can be a little overwhelming to uh, figure out all the inf information on your own. So, I'll show you how to do that. First, we've got here is the very most basic engine, and that's the redstone engine. All this requires here is just a redstone current. So, this lever would apply that. And it's not going to pipe right now because even though there's this wood conductive pipe, which you need for every engine, the first the first pipe you need out of any engine is a wood conductive pipe. Then you can use gold or whatever other type you want. Um, but wood is always the first one right off the engine. Um, but this one's not going to pump uh, because it's not actually it doesn't have, actually have anywhere for the electricity to go. Some of these other ones will pump, and I'm not a not exactly sure why some of them do, why some of them don't, but that's how I found it to go. If you were to hook something up to this, um, it would actually start pumping things out of it. So uh, next, let's move on. Th this is the most basic one. All you're really going to use that for the redstone engine is to maybe pump things out of chests, pump items out of chests. Um, but other than that, it's not very useful. Next we have the Sterling engine, which is just a step up from this. It's another basic Buildcraft engine. These are both from Buildcraft, as are some of the others. I'll tell you what mod each of them are from. So this is from Buildcraft, and all this one takes is simply just coal. So you'll go like that, and all of them require a redstone current to start. And there we go. So it's pumping right off the bat. That's all there is to that one. It's called the Sterling engine. It used to be called the Steam engine, but they changed the name, and that's from Buildcraft also. So next we have the Hobbyist Steam Engine, and it works very similar to the Sterling Engine, except it puts out a little bit more MJ, you can get up to a maximum of 2 MJ, and it requires water also, which uh, makes it give out more energy for a very low cost, just water. So it'll start to pump once it gets up to 100 degrees Celsius, and there we go. So it's at 100 right now, and it'll start to be pumping. And that's all there is to that one. This is another uh, Buildcraft uh, engine, hobbyist steam engine. I believe it's Buildcraft, at least. Flip that off, and that'll stop going once it finishes its little cycle. There we go. Uh, now what we have is the combustion engine, which is, once again, another step up. And this one requires water for coolants, and it can, be, can take uh, multiple different types of fuel. It can take lava, biofuel... Uh, regular fuel or oil, I believe. <clears throat> uh, maybe coal fuel also. I'm not entirely sure on that. Let me, let me check. They can take lava, oil, biofuel, bio and fuel. So yeah, just those four. I've got it filled up with lava right here. Um, and the way you do that is you put water cells, lava cells, whatever kind of cells you want in there. Set them in there. Or you can do buckets also, but cell stacks. So I think they're a little bit easier. Flip it on, and it'll start to go. And that's all there is to that. You can see this lava is starting to get used up. Um, but that is also another very simple engine. It's a step up, requires a little bit more fuel, but you also get more out of it. So next, we have this electrical engine. And I've done a more in-depth look at the electrical engine. If you want to check out my past videos, just click on over to my channel and check that out. Um, and then you'll get a little more in-depth view of this electrical engine, because I think it's very useful. Um, to, get, to get energy from solar panels into MJ, which is definitely something you might need for like a quarry or something like that. Um, but what it does is it takes EU energy, which is industrial craft energy, which you get from solar panels or generators or things like that, and it converts it into MJ energy. So the way you have to do this is you'll hook up a solar panel to the back of it, or anything really that creates EU, and then off of that, you'll have copper cables or whatever kind of cables you want to use. I used glass fiber here because that's just what I always use. Uh, but different types of cables in industrial craft um, can handle different amounts of uh, current. So you'll have to look that up and find out which cable is right for what you're doing. Um, for an advanced solar panel, gold insulated cable would be just fine. Um, but then you'll put that right into the butt of this electrical engine and then that will output into MJ power. So if I were to flip that on, you would see it start to pump. 
going beautifully. And if I were to take a voltometer, I think. Maybe it's maybe it's the multimeter that I want. Yeah, it's the multimeter. So voltometer is to measure um, blue electric energy, and multimeter is to measure MJ. There we go. So it's getting some energy out of there. Looking very nice. So we'll flip that one off. Uh, and next what we have here is the blue electric engine. This is very useful. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this could actually be the most powerful engine in the game. Uh, because at max capacity, it can output 32 MJ per tick, which is quite a lot. Like, this hobby of steam engine, which is what I use for doing simple things like running a rolling machine or things like that. Um, the hobby is... Oops, Let's look at that. Yeah. The hobby of steam engine only puts outputs two. So this puts out 16 times. And it uh, generates that at a one to one ratio. So each of these solar panels is putting out one, uh, one like blue electric energy unit per tick. Uh, so this will put out three MJ per tick. It's a one to one ratio. So what might be really nice for this is if you were to hook up a like windmill or wooden wind turbine to the back of this. Uh, blue electric engine, and you can get quite a lot of MJ power out of that. If we were to hook that on, I think this one has the coolest animation here. I think that looks awesome. It looks looks pretty dang sweet. Um, and there is a little bug. You notice that this isn't actually hooked up right here. It doesn't look like it is. Well, it actually is hooked up, and you can see it's turning off and on because of um, it's using up all the power that it's getting. Turns off for a little bit. Then it'll turn back on once it gets a little bit more power and stores it up. There actually isn't a user interface interface for this one, so you couldn't actually right-click on it. There you go, it's going a little faster there. Uh, turn that off and it turns off. But there is a little graphical bug. It might not look like things are connected here, but they really are connected. Oh, um, one thing I forgot to mention with this combustion engine. Um, different types of fuel actually will give you a different energy output. So if you put lava in, it'll be it'll give you a one MJ per tick output. Oil will be three, biofuel five, and fuel six. So actually, the better fuel you use, the more output you will get out of it. Even though it might be a little bit tougher to produce that fuel. So now we're going to move on to this peat-fired engine, and to fuel this one, very simply, all we need is peat. Uh, let's see where is that? This peat. So we'll go there, pop that in there, and this it will auto fuel. Uh, from right there. Uh, I was thinking it would go from there, but it doesn't. Alright, I just checked it out. I forgot what goes in here, but you don't actually put anything in here. Ash will actually be output. When it burns some peat, every 1.5 peat that it burns, it'll give you one ash. Uh, so that's what these extra four slots are. You can't actually put anything into those slots. Uh, that's the peat fired engine. All you need to do is put peat in there. That's very simple. Next, we'll move on to this biogas engine. So what you need here, you're going to need some water. Fill that up with water, and then you'll fill this other one up with water, honey, milk, seed oil, biomass, or apple juice. You can put any of those in here. So let's take some biomass cells. Let's do that. Put those in there. Oh, not working. Maybe what's wrong with that? Maybe biomass capsule is what you have to do? Huh. Why is that not working? This is weird. That's very strange. Hold on a second. Let's try putting in honey. Uh, honey capsule. Where is the honey? That is strange that it's not uh, going in there. Hmm. Alright, let's try just right clicking it. Yeah, I don't know why that's... Oh, there we go. That was very strange. I don't know... Hold on a second. You know, you guys, actually, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. I forgot. Water, um, you guys probably actually caught this when I said it. I think I kind of stumbled over my own words. But water is actually one of the fuels it can take. And then it needs lava. No matter what fuel you have in there, so water, honey, uh, milk, seed oil, biomass, or apple juice, you always need lava in there also. So then you can fire that up, and once this reaches its power level that it needs, it'll start to produce some energy. So we'll go ahead and flip that off. Uh, so just to be clear, um, this needs lava no matter what, and then either water, liquid honey, milk, seed oil, biomass, or apple juice. Uh, 
And water will give you um, one MJ per tick output, so will liquid honey, milk, and apple juice. Biomass will give you five MJ per tick output. And seed oil uh, will give you three MJ per tick output. And some of those um, fuels will consume lava all the time. Some of them will consume them only on startup. Uh, and it's different for each fuel. So you can go ahead and go to the Feed the Beast wiki and look those up when you are ready to use the engine. Um, you'll have to figure that out. Well, actually, here, I can just tell you. Uh, water uh, always uses the lava. Liquid honey is on startup only. Uh, milk is constant. It always uses the lava. Seed oil, startup only. Biomass, startup only. And apple juice will always use the lava. So for the more uh, efficient fuels, you're only going to be using the lava on startup. And if I didn't mention it before, these two are from Forestry, I believe. This one is from Red Power. This one is actually from Forestry, even though it uses um, Industrial Craft Energy and Buildcraft Energy. Forestry actually does introduce it, so if you want to learn more about the electrical engine, like I said, you can go check out my video that I did, or you can also check out the Forestry website. And that'll give you a lot of info on it also. So now we come to these two commercial steam engines. And what these things take is actually steam. Uh, this one can take steam from multiple different sources. Uh, this is the commercial steam engine. But industrial steam engine only will take steam from a steam boiler. And what I have right here are just liquidux. Because steam, uh, if I were to have this running, I'm not going to get that all set up now. Because that takes a little bit to set up. Um, if I were to have this running, there would be steam getting pumped out of here. These are just liquid fueled fire boxes down here. You can also use fire fuel or um, solid fuel, but you can look up how to do the steam boilers. I'm sure there's lots of great tutorials out there. Um, but these two engines will take steam from it and output it into MJ. So there will be nothing going on here when I flip the lever because it doesn't have any steam going into it. Um, but that is the fuel that they take. And there are different types of steam boilers and different sizes and everything. So you'll need to look up those if you do want to use them. Or if you guys really want me to, I can uh, look into it, maybe do a tutorial if there's enough demand for it. Uh, so let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. Next, uh, we've got the steam engine here. And this, although there is a steam engine down here, there are multiple different steam engines, and like these two I just showed you. This is a steam engine added by... Um, what's it called? Thermal expansion, which is a add-on for an industrial craft. And what this takes is just flat-out uh, fuel, just any fuel. Actually, it looks like I have some coal in my inventory already. So I'll put in some fuel there. Turn that on. Oh, wait, sorry, it also needs water, actually. So if you right-click it, that'll give it some water. I think it only takes four whatever uh, buckets or anything like that. Um, well, why is that not going? Oh, all right. I completely forgot somehow. I actually need to hook up those wooden conductive pipes. So now you can see why those are so important. If I hook one of those up. Now, there we go. Now it starts to burn. So that'll burn quite well. That'll give you two MJ per take output. Uh, and that is again from the thermal expansion add-on to industrial craft. Uh, now we'll go to the magmatic engine. And this just flat out takes lava. So if we put some lava in there. Oh, actually, sorry. We need to right click this lava in there, I think. So if I were to put some lava in there, there we go put a one of these pipes on there and that will start to burn right there off on and that is about it for each of these engines you guys I know I went through that fast um, you can always rewind the video of course or rewatch anything or if you need more info you can leave a comment message me do whatever and I'll do my best to get all the information I can to you guys <coughs> <coughs> excuse me about that a little cough I just got my wisdom teeth out so I'm a little little sore from that still, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope hopefully it was more informative than the last video I put out about this stuff. Um, and if you guys still need to know more, uh, like I said, please let me know. I'd love to do another video on it, uh, maybe on a specific engine. If you want a more in-depth look at that engine, 
um, then that would uh, definitely be something that I would look into doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, just have a great day.